Hey guys, welcome back to Sustainable Living. Today I'm going to take you along with a sequence of videos that I have been collecting over the last two and a half months in building our water cistern system. I hope through this video it'll inspire you to do things that will keep you more sustainable in your own life. wonderful day we ordered some water barrels for our water cistern system at home and we are on our way to pick them up finishing up our water tanks, our cistern system. We had a little episode yesterday. I didn't document with the camera just because I was so upset about it. We had a terrible windstorm that came through and picked up my 2,600 gallon water tanks and threw them across my yard. It was a huge blessing that it didn't damage more than what it did because it could have wiped out my garden or one of my kids down here playing, busted through my trellis that I have for my watermelons. There's really not much done in the garden. It took out one zucchini plant. See the zucchini plant that it took out. And then the barrel came through and took out this tomato plant with this cage. It looked like it rolled down through the garlic, but it was hung up in this fence right here. That one huge barrel right there was hung up in the fence. And then the other one was hung up on that tomato cage. I'm not gonna screw around anymore. And uh, I've been caught up with so many other projects. I have way too many projects going on. So this is priority number one. We're getting tanks set today. So we don't have this accident again. I got too much money tied up in uh, barrels. Um, I'm gonna get this cistern system put in.
What we've done to connect these barrels is I put a two inch T at both of the bottom of these barrels so they'll fill up evenly. I put a valve so I can shut off during the winter months if we don't want to use it for the garden. And then that comes to another junction, a T, that will come up to an external pump if we want to uh, put an external pump out here. I have an internal pump right now, but I'm gonna plumb this for an external in the future and then I put another valve on here with a cap that in the event if I ever want to take this two inch line empty these barrels by gravity then I have this cap here that I'll knock off and then dig out my trench to where it levels out at the bottom of the property Subscribe. So this is how the pre-flush system is going to work. I have, uh, what's going to happen is the water is going to flow into this drain pipe where we'll have the pre-flush. I will then have this ball down in this tube here. These, I have these two reducers right here where the ball will then float, once the water fills up, will float up and will go into this and actually close the flush out and then it'll start flowing up into my tanks. I'm gonna give you an example how this works in the water tank. So you'll see, show it in here. You'll see as the water fills up, you'll see the ball, see the ball in there? It'll seal this end off, allowing all the debris to stay in the bottom tube to later be flushed out and then the clean water will go up into my tanks. And then all right, so here's the inlet, it's coming in. Here's the clean out that I showed you in the feed trough, how that works. When that fills up and that ball clogs up that junction, then the clean water will go ahead and go on up into our tanks. Now I laser leveled this. So this is below the outlet of the house. So everything should gravity feed down. Now all the dirty stuff will fill up this four inch tube and we'll go all the way down and we'll have a clean out down here. Ooh, look at all that dirt. Spiders. 
make homes in the water spouts. You catch bugs and eat them. All right, what we have going here now, I just got done putting in our overflow system. So these are two inch pipes on both sides of these tanks that will flow down into this T and then it will go ahead and go on out past the tanks with any overflow. That is the plan. I know two. I know I'm coming in with four inch and going out with two, but I think this should be sufficient unless we have a really big overflow of water. In this container, this is where we have the uh, the valve to the system, where this pipe right here, we will have our exterior pump. This pipe, I'm going to use to measure my water level. I'll get like a one inch or a three quarter inch PVC pipe, mark it where I want it to. And then when I stick it down this pipe, I can tell how much water I have by the gravity of the water filling up on this pipe here. So you remember when I put the pre-flush system in, I have a screw on and on this bottom end. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this open and I'm gonna go ahead and create a cement berm around here. And then I'm gonna create a drain in which I can then open this valve up and clean out my system in the winter. And then that drain will then go to a lower end of my property. I didn't wanna run my four inch all the way out there. That meant that my whole system would have to fill up more line with the four inch, which means less water going into my tank. And I've already got about 16 foot of this four inch line for my pre-flush. And that's gonna be more than enough for me. I don't need to fill up more line. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video this far. When you are trying to figure out how much rainwater you'll collect off your roof, all you need is the area of your roof. You don't have to worry about the slope of the roof or anything like that. Just measure your length times your width. Then you multiply that by 0.56. That'll give you a calculation of how many gallons of water you will get with one inch of rain. I wanted to give you a few schematics on the water cistern system. So, first of all, on my house, I have a rough square footage of about 2,500 square feet on my house. So on one inch of rain, my house will produce about 1,400 gallons of water. My system, is a 5,300 gallon system. So you can figure it'll take me a few inches of rain to fill up all my rain barrels. I have 342 feet of four inch pipe that has to be filled up before it'll actually start to gravity feed into my tanks. So any of you math whizzes out there, give me your volume calculation and tell me what it is down in the comments. I calculated a number, but I don't think it's accurate. My calculation was 16 gallons. So I did something wrong on my formulation or tell me if I'm right, but give me a, a check on that, a math check. As for my pre-flush system, that holds about 18 feet of four inch pipe before that completely fills up. And then the rest of the water, it will go all into my system. Well, we got a rainstorm and we're filling them up. I want to thank you guys for watching the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and follow us on YouTube. I hope you enjoyed this video of this water cistern build.